Hey folks, by the way, uh, as you know, I got the Fobo bike system, which are TPMS sensors that go on the tires and an app that goes on your phone. And it'll give you real-time pressure readings uh, on your phone, and it'll give you, if you have Bluetooth to your phone, it'll give you warnings in your headset about tire too low or tire too high. So let me tell you something very, very interesting I found out. When I had first set up the system, uh, I run my rear tire at 28 PSI, right? And I set the max pressure warning to 32, and I set the low pressure warning to 24. All fine and good. Well, first day I got on the freeway on a, you know, 75 degree day, I got a uh, ding ding in my headset, and Fobo was telling me that the rear tire pressure was too high. And uh, the phone said it was, you ready for this? 35 PSI. <coughs> Pardon me. So let me explain what's happening here. Air expands when it heats up. So even though the tire pressure was nominal at 28, getting on the freeway and doing, you know, 65, 70, because it is your drive tire, it heats up uh, quite a bit. The front tires don't do it hardly at all. Uh, I think I'm running 19, I know that's high per the spec, but I like the looser steering myself. Uh, anyway, uh, they don't change hardly at all, but the rear tire temperature changes a lot. So uh, basically what I'm trying to tell you, and this is interesting now that I got this TPMS FOBO system, is uh, if you think you're running around at 28 PSI, by the time that tire heats up, you're really running around at 35 PSI. So if you think your tire is too hard or your the ride's too hard or whatever, uh, realize that's what's happening. 28 on a, a ambient temperature, uh, 28 PSI ambient temperature uh, is the spec, but I'm telling you right now, you're running around when you're riding a lot higher pressure than that. Like I said, it went up to 35 for me. That's about max it hit uh, on about a 75 degree day running down the freeway so just be aware of that what you might consider is if especially if you put a car tire on that's harder you might consider um, dropping the pressure to 26 that way when it heats up you'll only be at like 32 33 um, instead of 35 and see what it rides like you know if you put a car tire on and you're going man this thing's hard well you know, you're not really running at 28. You're running it much higher due to the temperature increase of the rear tire. So just a tidbit of information that probably no one ever knew until they put a, pardon me, <coughs> no one ever knew until they put a TPMS system on. Well, I found that out and it was very interesting. So, uh, now, I'm comfortable, my tire isn't too hard, I'm going to leave it as is, and what I did is I increased the Fobo bike warning for high pressure to 36. Uh, next time I'm in a 95 degree day on the freeway, we'll see if I get a temp warning on that. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, so just some interesting info for you guys who think you're running around at 28, and in fact, you're not even. Anyway. Talk to y'all later.